Hello, and welcome to Parent Corner. My name is Shelby Simmons, and I'm the Parent Involvement Coordinator for the Colton County School District's Title I Parent Involvement Program. I'm also a certified teacher and a parent in the district. It's important to me to be able to share with you strategies for your children and you to use on a regular basis. These strategies are going to help improve their reading comprehension and early literacy skills. So in this episode of Parent Corner, we're going to focus on nighttime strategies for reading with children, especially children in that critical zero to six year old period. First of all, when you're putting your children to bed, there's one thing that's very important and that's your environment. So to start off, you don't want a room that looks like this. A little bit scary. Instead, you'd like a room that looks a little bit more like this. The reason for ensuring that your room is organized is one, especially children who have ADD or ADHD, require a more structured environment so that it's free from distractions. It'll help them get to bed a little easier when they aren't thinking of all the wonderful fun things they could be playing with or overwhelmed by distractions and odd shapes and shadows in the middle of the night. It's also safer for children as well. The second component of a very positive nighttime routine is to incorporate reading. The Colleton County School District encourages approximately 20 minutes a day of reading for your child. And most teachers will send home either a reading assignment, a library book, or a book that your child has created himself for reading. Most of these books, especially if you have very young children, will not take 20 minutes to read. Today, I'll discuss ways to stretch out that time to improve comprehension and understanding Give your child new reading strategies to improve their skills in reading at home and at school, and show you how to make the most of that 20 minutes as a part of your bedtime or evening time routine. So now let's pretend you've already done the bath time, you've had dinner, and now little Johnny or Jimmy or Juliet is in bed. Now is the perfect time to take 10 to 20 minutes to read with your child, bond with your child, and reinforce some important literacy strategies that they were taught in school. So let's start with our first example, the Book Buddy. Book Buddy packs at Hendersonville Elementary contain books that your child created. So when you're sharing with your child, you can use one of their books that they colored and filled in themselves, and what is a pointer essentially a colored popsicle stick that they're going to use to identify high frequency words. Now on your fridge facts or your word wall are the words that your child needs to know. Sometimes they're called dolch words. Um, other times they're words that the teacher has identified that are important for your child and will help move them to the next step in literacy. So let's get started. We've selected our reading material we're going to work on the early literacy skills and move forward into deeper skills for the kindergarten to first grade child. You're going to give your child the pointer and while they're sitting or standing and looking at you, you'll start with a book. So the title of this book is The Penguins. What's the title of the book, you might ask your child? The Penguins. What do you think that this book is gonna be about? Penguins, of course. This is a simple strategy that as the titles become more complex, your child will have to use more critical thinking to determine what the book might be about. There's a dedication page. The child may have dedicated it to you or themselves. And there may be an author, which would probably be your child, written on the front. If either of those features are there, make sure that you point them out. There's a blank where the child wrote in the word 
V. The penguins like to fish. Point out the page number, page number one, even though it's not the first page of the book, it's the first page of the story. And the high frequency or sight word is the word the. The penguins like to fish. What other high frequency words are on this page? Well, depending on your child's grade level, it might be the word like or the word to. But your child should be familiar and they may point these words out as well. You can check either on the word wall at your child's school in their classroom or on the fridge racks or other information sent home with your child. Now let's turn the page. Let's make sure we turn those pages carefully because we don't want to rip them. We're seeing the same sight or high frequency word, the, the, the penguins like to play. What has changed between these two sentences on these two pages? Well, let's go back. On this page, what did the penguins like to do? The penguins like to fish. What did they like on the second page? The penguins like to play. So what's the difference? On the first page, they like to fish. And on the second page, they like to play. You might ask your child any of the questions I just went over and include questions like, would you prefer to play or to fish? Is fishing something people do in play or only for food? Getting them to think more about the social aspects, which would be covered in a social studies course. We then move on. Now we're seeing two high frequency words underlined and another word that the children have become familiar with and as a sight word, the word to. So we'll read it. The penguins like to run. Because they saw the word like on the other two pages, you've read it to them. Now you may want to include your child by asking them to read the sentence to you. You may even take over the control of the pointer. So the penguins like to run. If your child has difficulty with any of these words, you may want to read the difficult words and then point out to them the words that you know they can read so that they're experiencing success. So for example, your child might read the word the, you would read penguins, they would read like to run. And now we're reading together. So now we're ready to move on. And let's talk about another strategy, that's repetition. As you can see on this page, we include the word like. The structure of the sentence is staying the same. The penguins like to, and then play, fish, run. In this instance, the penguins like to run. As we move on to the next page, we see that while like is still a high frequency word, it's not a word that's being written in this time. That is the word to. We're using the same structure of the sentence. We're using repetition, but we're asking your child to note differences and see what's missing. That's a key strategy. Once you have a routine down and you've practiced it through repetition, now your children are able to distinguish differences and make things right or make corrections. So the penguins like to dive. As the children work on more complex texts, so more words, more pictures, more involved ideas, you'll see repetition still used as a strategy to help them understand difference and appropriateness. In addition to books that your child has created for himself, you'll also have received books from the Parent Involvement Program sponsored by Title I and the Colton County School District. One of those books is Cars. This is a series of Disney's books that are available in bilingual format, which means that you have English on top and Spanish on the bottom. So not only can you reinforce language skills, but if your primary language is Spanish, you'll be able to read with your children as well. So for example, let's read the first page. Welcome to Radiator Springs, a place full of color. So with a book like this, you'd like to identify any high frequency words like a, of, 
or two. You would also like to share words that would be new to your child and perhaps give them definitions if they would like. You can also emphasize that children who speak all different languages have to learn to read their own language. And in the United States, learning English is very useful for all sorts of business and personal applications. So you may want to look at cognates or show them how one word translates to another word. For example, Bienvenidos a Radiator Springs, un lugar lleno de color. So, bienvenido, welcome. Some of the other books in the program include Toy Story 3, Meet the Gang. For children ages four and below, this is a great book to teach early literacy skills on how to use a book. So, you'll show them the correct way to hold a book, where the title can be found, how to turn the pages, that you start at the top and move from left to right across the book in order for the words to make sense. You'll point out high frequency words like and, the, or the, of, how a name such as Andy is capitalized and how people have names and other objects can be nouns that might not necessarily be capitalized. So ham is capitalized because that's a name in this instance and not pig, which would not be capitalized. These are all things along with looking at the pictures and showing how the pictures relate to the words that are very important for young children to know. And as they get older, you reading them the story Doing it frequently, increasing repetition, will enable them to recognize the words and read it to you. Some of the other books that we've made available through the Parent Involvement Program are also Disney books. For example, this little gem, Princess Playtime, was very popular with our young girls and has been made available at all of the Title I schools in the district. The Princess Playtime book has more words than the Meet the Gang book, but again, you can emphasize high frequency words. You can use this with girls who are older, so you could go from birth up to about six or seven years old comfortably with this book. They also have textures in this book, so the shoe has a bumpy texture, and it's different things that you can talk about with your daughter. What makes these different textures? Why are they important, and what are they related to? They also have search features in this book. For example, some items flip out and create new text, and others slide. I encourage you to read with your child every day, every evening, every opportunity they get. And we will continue to add books to their personal libraries because reading leads to success. In our pursuit of excellence in the Colton County School District, improved literary and literacy skills are vitally important. Thank you. So, in addition to the reading, which is very important, you also wanna make your day go a little bit more smoothly. So try to prepare as much the previous night before. So you know your child's going to have to get dressed in the morning. So either before you do your reading or after, make sure that you have their school uniform ready to go. If it needs a little ironing, now's the time to get it out of the way so you don't have to worry about it in the morning. Shoes, socks, book bag. And about that book bag, I try to make sure that I have his book bag ready to go. That the book buddy, any homework, his folder, all go back in the book bag so that it can be the last thing that we grab right out the door. You might also want to have that jacket available too. No more colds or flus, please. So now that you have all of your materials ready, you've done your 10 to 20 minutes of reading, you've asked critical questions and used repetition to improve their critical thinking and comprehension skills, you're ready to go to bed, or at least they are. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned to future Parent Quarter events to get more information about reading strategies, literacy skills, math strategies, and many other topics useful to parents. Again, I'm Shelby Simmons, Parent Involvement Coordinator for the Cotton County School District, and I'll see you next time.